Hi everyone, I want to do a quick demo on one way that you can bring a location map into your AutoCAD uh, cover sheet. There's many ways to do this, but I want to show you just one way. The first thing I've done is I've gone to Google Maps and I've selected a location. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to print this and go to print. And I'm just going to make an Adobe PDF of this image. I want to make sure that it's in black and white. Um, doesn't really matter if you want to do portrait landscape. We're going to kind of crop it out. So I'm going to go ahead and print that. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop. You can save it wherever you've uh, got all your project files so that you've got a complete kind of package together. So now I'm going to go into my um, PDF that I just created and I'm going to use my tools in Acrobat and I am going to go to crop here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select the area that I want to see. So let's just say I want to do this and double click so it shows me my box and then I'm going to click OK and now you can see it's um, just showing the area that I want. Um, I'm then going to go to file and save as and I'm going to create a JPEG. So I'm just going to change my file type to JPEG. I'm going to save it wherever it was I saved my uh, my original PDF and then I'm going to go into AutoCAD and for this one I just opened the, the that title block file so that I'm looking at a um, sheet with a title block in paper space and I'm going to go to the insert tab and I'm going to go to attach so if I click on attach you can look down here file types right now it says all image files you may have to adjust that depending on what you've inserted before so I'm going to say all image files I'm going to select my JPEG that I just created click open and I want to specify on screen so I'm going to do that I'm going to just kind of pop it in there and drag it a little bit to get the size about what I want and move it okay so now I've got my map in here now it's got a black box around it you can leave that if you want to or if you would like prefer to get rid of that all you have to do is go to your command prompt and type in image frame all one word and change the value from 1 to 0 and that will get rid of that border so like I said that's one way you can do it there's lots of different ways uh, but give that a try and let me know if you have questions